All right, so long story short, man, I had to run and get, get a quick memory card and whatnot. But um, long story short, you get back into what was that? Ezekiel 4. Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 11. That's your drink also watered by measure. That's right. So that's getting into these perilous times. That's about the long behold America. Keep going. Seek for it, in here. From time to time, shalt thou drink. From time to time, shalt thou drink. Why? Because it, that's like a measurement that, that seeks part of a hand. But long story short, man, these perilous times coming to America because a lot of the things that we have right now ain't gonna be at the same expense, if that makes sense. Um, we ain't gonna be able to go to stores and buy big cases of water and shit no more, man. And you can't turn, like your brother was bringing out earlier, to a stream and drink from it because it's defiled and it's polluted. So who you gonna turn to in that day? You know what I'm saying? Keep going, right? Verse 12. And now shall eat it as barley cakes. That's right. Now shall bake it with dung that cometh out of a man in their sight. That's right. That's dung that cometh out of a man. Because, like I said, the food ain't going to be there, man. When you ain't got no food to turn to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just really want to know who y'all people going to call on. Y'all people that's been scoffing, people that's been walking past, act like y'all don't hear a seat. Y'all don't even stop and consider, you know what I'm saying? Right quick. I ain't mean to switch topic too much, but Isaiah 1 and 3, man. Okay, Love the shot. Yeah. Oh, Slaps. Is that the uh, new one? Oh, so Zephaniah. Zephaniah. Okay, we can get it. Oh, Zephaniah 1 and 11. How are ye inhabitants of Maktesh, mm -hmm. for all the merchant people are cut down. That's right. All thee that bear silver are cut off. That's right. All thee that bear silver are cut off. And um, and actually spoken of in Genesis, when most, uh, uh, Slack it, when Joseph was in uh, Egypt, you know what I'm saying? The people came to him talking about the money fellas, man. And that's just the same thing that's going to come again. Like it's spoken of in Ecclesiastes, that... Um, there's nothing new under the sun, man. These things happened before. I was going to get into it, but I'm not. Uh, you know, in Leviticus and in Baruch, it's talking about eating your own flesh and your children, man. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Baruch chapter 2, verse 1. Therefore the Most High have made good his word, uh -huh. which, he, which he pronounced against us, and against our judges that judge Israel, and against our kings, and against our princes. Because he said this, this is gonna be like, gonna be paraphrasing like the, one of the most great and dreadful days. Like, like it ain't gonna be no another day like it, man. Keep going, right? as it came to pass in Jerusalem, according to the things that were written in the law of Moses, mm -hmm. that a man should eat the flesh of his own son, that's right, and the flesh of his own daughter, that's right. And these is what's long beholding, man. And this was actually what's going on in these third world countries, but you'll never see it on your news media because they don't report this type of stuff, man. The media is a, is a middleman between the elite and the rest of the people, the masses That's of the people. That's the media. The That's media. right. That's right. So they, they only push when they know they can get ratings on, and, and it's all about money, man. So you got to get that underground news. You got to be searching for this truth, man. Everything not just going to be given to you. And right quick, I'm going to switch it up a little bit, just going off the floor with the brothers was dealing with. This is Job 32 and 9, uh, dealing with, I guess, an old head, because right now I'm about to get into towards me if I preach not the gospel. It says, great men are not always wise, Neither do the age understand judgment. Brother said he been teaching or knowing the truth, if you will, for 30 years, but ain't been out here teaching. And I remember, I don't even think the brother remember when he brought this out to me like months ago, but you know, he's roughly paraphrasing saying that our ancestors or our own people kind of led us astray right now. Sure. Because it took for the most high, and ultimately it's all up to the most high, but it took for him to put the spirit into us in order to come out and compel people to come into the house of the Lord. Hey, I got a brief for you. Go ahead. Uh, this is Psalms 119 and 99. It says, I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. Kind. He said he understand more than the ancients, because he keep thy precepts. That's a beautiful scripture. I a lot of bringing that up. You know what I'm saying? So he said, um, um, what's the scripture roughly paraphrasing? How it go, um, seek the Lord, like in our youth? You know, in the oh, days. I got that right. Come on, yeah. 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 Go ahead. All right, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Mm -hmm. Remember now thy creators creator in the days of thy youth, That's right. while the evil days come not, mm -hmm. nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in thee. That's right. So do it while you, while he said, while, before the evil days even come, man, you should be seeking the most high, man. Right now, y'all got liberty. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got benefits. So y'all feel like, man, ain't nothing gonna come to America. But as soon as y'all know, like, you know, contrary to popular belief, it's gonna be sudden great destruction, man. Like reference to Amos, uh, what is it, 9 and 8? You ain't got to get it, but just throwing it out there, man. He said, warn to you that, that, that seek the Lord. That's that 5 and 18, by the way. He said, warn to you that seek the Lord. To what end is it for you, man? It's a, it's a dark day, a dreadful day, man. 
great death and destruction is coming to America. And that's why he set us men up to go out and tell y'all people and forewarn y'all, man. You got some? Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17, son of man, I made thee a watchman to the house of Israel. Right. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. That's right. He said, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me, man. Keep going. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to Stop. save his life. Stop right there. He said, the wicked one, y'all, you shall surely die. How? If you refuse not to stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, you know, that shit raise your cholesterol anyway. It's not a fucking delicacy. If you refuse to not, you know, to stop uh, uh, smoking cigarettes, smoking weed and shit, you know what I'm saying? Altering your mind, you know, dealing with uh, witchcraft, that pharmacia, you know, them uh, drugs and shit. Uh, over over the counter drugs, you can even say uh, that codeine shit that got everybody wrapped up into that shit now. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's just a multitude of different sins that Israel do, man. Right quick, if one of y'all don't mind, um, Isaiah one and three. If you got a precept, go ahead. How my young? Go ahead. No, no, I got that in Isaiah. Dude. All right. Uh, this is Isaiah one and three. The ox, so like it. This is Isaiah one and three. Uh, the ox knoweth his owner. And the ass is master's crib, but Israel doeth not know. My people doeth not consider. Um, yeah, man, he said, My people, he said, the ox knoweth his owner and the ass is master's crib, but my people do not know. They do not even consider, man. So when we out here on the highways and byways, right now, y'all see a nice sunny day. But like it's spoken of in the scriptures, man, he said, Before them is the Garden of Eden, but behind them is like a flaming fire, man. Because Right now, y'all live in a glorious day, but tomorrow gonna be, it, it could be, you know what I'm saying? Could be a great and dreadful day. Uh, it could be a bus, you know, uh, uh, just take out this whole fucking sidewalk. And y'all would've never guessed it. Because y'all living, you know, y'all y'all living, one, first and foremost, y'all living beyond y'all means. But secondly, y'all living and y'all without care, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I, uh, out, out in uh, Italy, uh, about 300 of you um, motherfuckers died by, by, by that earthquake. Yeah, that's right. No, yeah, it was a beautiful day. Right, it was like a 6.2 or something like that. Yeah, yeah big magnitude, you know. Yeah, and that, and that was in like a, uh, a real up city, man. All right, that was a real predominant city right there that that happened in. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Louisiana. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Indiana. Hey, hey, the Milwaukee riots, man. All right. All that. And, and two, two. You know, just in New Jersey, uh, like within Denver a week ago. It was a good day. It was a really sunny day. It was, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You're right, though. Fucking zippity doo dah. Yeah, yeah. Until them planes hit. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, um, I was talking about, uh, so like, I just had it on the tip of my tongue. It kind of slipped. Go ahead, you got it. All right, First Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, mm -hmm. you have no need that I write unto you. Mm -hmm. All right, because we're not, we're not shocked or surprised when things like that happen. We might be like, oh, shit, but like, we, we know exactly it's because of the scriptures. It's because of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai's judgment or that things like this happen. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. So basically, man, ain't, ain't, no, ain't no escaping judgment, dog. Like it's spoken of in Amos 5 and 18, when you know he put his hand upon the wall and, and a serpent met him, you know what I'm saying? Prior to him uh, fleeing from a bear. bear. So right. just throwing it out there, man, you can't escape judgment, dog. Uh. The only thing you can do is get right in the sight of the Lord or perish, man. Perish like the wind. You got, you got that in another, that Luke. Yeah, it's Luke chapter 8, verse 16. No man when he has lighted a candle, cover it there with a vessel. That's right. Or put it in under a bed. Uh-huh. But set it in on a candlestick that they which enter in may see the light. That's right. So since we got the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, we are, he said, gird up thyself, gird up thy loins like a man, man. He compelled us to go out there. And like he told, what was it, Jeremiah, he said, say not that I am young. You know what I'm saying? He said, say not that you are young. So go out there and compel the people to come to the house of the Lord. Even Yahweh shot at the age of, what was it, 12, 13? He said, I am by my father's business. You know what I'm saying? So we we are reordered and preordained and destined to do the will of the Lord, man. At least you can say for the most part, us men that's standing up here in this city, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, so like, right quick, one of y'all, Bob uh, uh, First Peter 4 and 18. First Peter 4 and 18, somebody. 
Man, that's, that's Satan. Yeah, man, fuck that. That's hey, Satan. Hey, first man. Peter chapter 4, verse 18. Huh. It says, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? That's right. He said, if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear, man? I was going to help you get, but you know, just saying, he said a, a servant that did not the, the will of, the, of his master, man, he was beat with, with, with many stripes, man. Compared to he that knew not the will of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? So the, the ones that, that, that the blood that was upon their hand, they still get put to death. But you, on the other hand, knowing the truth, referring to uh, whoever the old head was, you know what I'm saying? You some way knowing the truth or knowing the light, so you say, and you ain't out here doing the will of the Lord, man. It, it, that could be many great strikes upon you, man. Yeah, that's right. I got some. All right. Hebrew 10, chapter, chapter 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully after that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. That's right. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. That's right. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sins if you know right from wrong, man. Yeah, it's get, like get that bus line that's not running anymore. Huh. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to jump down to 28. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. That's right. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy, man. So I'm just trying to get y'all a perception of how the Lord is, man. The Lord is bad, man. He not something to be fucked with. You know what I'm saying? He a force not to be reckoned with, for lack of a better term. You know what I'm saying? He said he mighty, he great, and he terrible, man. He, he merciful unto his elect, dog. And don't nobody know who the elect is. And that's why the brother said prior to that you got to remain lowly and humble, man. Um, um, right quick. All right, you got it. Second Nezzers 9 and 30. We start at 31. And this is uh, Amos 3, verse 4. Will a lion roar in the forest when he have no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he have taken nothing? Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no gain is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid. Uh, Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? That just goes to show you that Satan gets no glory, man. Satan gets absolutely no glory. When little babies get shot to death from a straight bullet, you know what I'm saying? They were just talking about Dwayne Wade's cousin and shit. Man, all that ordained of the Lord, man. Uh, I believe it's Job 4 and 7 that talk about, you know, um, no man perishes innocent, man. Right quick, um, you got that, you got that in Luke? Luke 10 and 2 Therefore said he unto them The harvest truly is great But the laborers are few That's right, so man, we out here on the highways and byways To wake our people up Rather y'all here, or rather y'all forbear, man He said, go out He's Isaiah uh, 58 and 1 He said, cry aloud and spare not Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, man yeah, I got one for you. Pray ye therefore The Lord of the harvest mm -hmm that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. That's right, man. So to the best of our ability, man, we coming out week in and week out prophesying the downfall and destruction of America, man. We out here laboring, not only to seek out our own salvation, but he said, uh, Rep. Paraphrase, and I believe it's in the Apocrypha, but it, uh, it said, like, um, he laboring not for yourself only, but for them that, that, like, that hear it. If I said that right, I can look it up right quick. But uh, keep going, if it's more on there. Oh, yeah, there's a lot. All right. All right, go your ways. Behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. Carry neither purse, nor scrip, nor shoes, and salute no man by the way. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so it's like, uh, right, when you come to this truth, all right, that's not how uh, uh, we didn't, like, literally, uh, like, like, give away, like, all our, like, uh, that worldly possessions and all that. Like, we have, uh, and we're Jake, so I'm pretty sure, like, we have, like, one room full of, like, shoe boxes and shit like that. Oh, no, no, no. But, um... Hey, it's a lot. But just to add on, yeah. it's the, uh, we lambs amongst, amongst wolves, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's, that's you, you know, you can't be in no fucking, man, fighting spirit, whooping niggas' asses and shit while you're in the church. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of, like, meter once I yeah. came to... <laughs> but you got, you got to chill, because the Lord, you been... When the Lord wanted to fuck shit up, the house shop, you know, but he had to chill, so we ain't greater than the master. But, uh, verse 5, And into whatsoever house he entered, first say, Peace be to this house. Huh. And uh, like right now, uh, right, that's like uh, when like you know, like someone comes up, I right, to inquire as, as to like what's going on and all that. Are right, we all? Um, right, that's like we're all um, trying to like gauge what type of spirit he's in. Like all. Uh, right, and all uh, just like all uh, just like tell him like if he's an Israelite or if we perceive him to be an Israelite, we like we just like 
give a brief synopsis. That's like, oh, what's what's going on? All right, all oh, like, you know, Isaiah. Although oh, your sins be as scarlet, that type of deal. Yeah, 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 all right, yeah. but then all. Oh,